This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Is that too much to ask? This facility belongs to the city now. To Ryan Industries. At least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone. Lamb is gone. Or close enough. I am alone at last. Alone with my city. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son.
Ryan. Make it stop! Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore <laughs> penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that chilly note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Six 
he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Prison, it seems, was a blessing. Ryan is now dead by his own son's hand. But far more interesting is the program of compulsion bred into his child, coded W-Y- I designed that device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! Fired! Fired!
slap on the nose, boy! Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. No questions asked.
Each new tyrant ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? <laughs>
sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanage is provided, and the procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry.
is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. <laughs> Only a single volunteer. Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you! Staged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? You. And to think, you were so spliced, you couldn't stand when we stuck you into that get-up. 
the Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it.
was to be Sophia Lamb's greatest achievement, a living composite of all Rapture's genius in the body of a single man, unfettered by self-interest. Now, I am nothing more to her than a failed experiment. My scores on tests of intelligence and moral reasoning are still noteworthy, but declining sharply. She has abandoned me, and I do not have long before psychosis takes me. As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Dr. Alexander has agreed to accept both measures of the new utopian project. He will become a kind of genetic chimera, host to all the minds of rapture, accessing their talents and memories via the Adam we have gathered. And deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good his love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that... Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, 
That was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adamant-fused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it! Well, listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. you running around the laboratories in your condition. What a life, marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why?
She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. Time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in.
was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library.
Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? Whispering Father, they've left you a present at the Gatherer's Garden. Take it. Dismissed. Scott, from the premises. No, I 
You reel them in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. Got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You, you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Please. I will go outside. I will live outside.
able to shift into desired patterns at will. A utopian cannot be confined to a single throw of the genetic dice. When needed, she is a composer, a dancer, an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter.